Voilà, ça va bien, ça peut être bien, mais faut un temps qu'à l'espoir. Alors, Alex le Trump, on se voit là, on a de nous. Là, on va se voir bien. Tiens, on peut être un slot d'un bus. This is WGN TV News, and we currently have some breaking news coming out of the city of Chicago. It appears that multiple hospitals in the city have experienced high numbers of patients coming in with an unknown virus. Already, it is estimated that there are approximately 300 to Chills, severe coughing, sneezing, headache, sore throat, congestion, fatigue, and body aches. Methods of transmission, the incubation period, and ways of preventing infection are currently unknown at this time. The Chicago Department of Public Health is asking that residents take precautions to prevent the spread of this virus, including washing hands, avoiding those that are sick, and maintaining a safe distance from others not in your household. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. What the heck was that? I think someone said in the heck when the dead kind of broke from an abdorn. What my last summer movie start of the dead? Does it really feel wrong? How would you say some strange things, Reverend? Oh, I'm glad your video was just watching that. Not yours! I'm a kid that hospitals in the city are filling up with people coming in with an unknown virus. We told our pet people coming to us battles because of the unknown. Oh, no, I don't know where from. Yes, what unknown virus? Oh, my God, her, that's horrible. Do you think this is another code to make him evil? I'm a something worse than coming back to when we find out the minutes later. In the meantime, do you want to watch Gorman on this week? Oh yes, I learned I'm on on this week. Okay, let's do this. Meanwhile... Oh, hi guys! It's me, Mickey Mouse, and it's a nice day outside. I think I'll watch. Yay! The following message is transmitted at the request of the Chicago Department of Public Health. Many hospitals across the city of Chicago are currently experiencing a high number of patients coming in with an unknown virus. It is estimated that there are approximately 300 to 450 people that have been infected by this disease. Symptoms of this virus include, but are not limited to the following, nausea, vomiting, high fever, chills, severe coughing, sneezing, headache, sore throat, congestion, fatigue, and body aches. More severe cases, which have mostly occurred in the elderly, young children, and those with underlying medical conditions, the virus can cause shortness of breath and pneumonia, which can be fatal if left untreated. Methods of transmission, the incubation period, the mortality rate, and ways of preventing this virus are unknown at this time. As a precaution, the Chicago Department of Public Health is instituting a set of public health guidelines that will be in effect for the city of Chicago, beginning immediately and will last until this disease is properly contained. These include, washing your hands with soap and warm water for 20 seconds after going outside, touching the eyes or mouth, or going to the bathroom. Maintain a safe distance from those not in your household. Avoid touching the eyes, face, nose, 
and mouth. Frequently clean surfaces after use. Cover your coughs or sneezes with a tissue or into your arm. Avoid large crowds. If you believe you are infected with this virus, follow the instructions previously mentioned and stay home and quarantine for at least one to two weeks. Wear a mask or facial covering to prevent infecting others. Maintain a proper distance from those in your house. If you or a loved one are experiencing severe complications associated with this virus, seek medical attention immediately. Try to take yourself to a hospital if they are still allowing people in. If your local hospital is full, try to take yourself to a doctor's office for treatment. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this situation. Hospitals overflowing with people coming in. What the heck is going on? Oh well, maybe I'll find out later today. <laughs> Small part and poses a joking hazard, particularly for children. Yeah.